Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to this Network Quick Tip video. Today we're going to be covering setting up automated email reports. And that's really crucial because a lot of times at the end of the day or you want to have an email automatically sent so you can look at it some, uh, maybe another time or another part of the day heading home. Uh, and there's reports you want to just check on a daily basis and you don't want to have to type in specific settings every time. You could either obviously go into the system or have it email it uh, to you or maybe to uh, a specific person that likes to see this on a daily basis that doesn't log into Acumatica all the time. So this will kind of kill two birds in one stone by you uh, not only able to get the report but it's in their inbox and you don't have to do a single thing. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need to do is set up the emails in general. So we're going to type in email in the search bar and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to email preferences and uh, set up the internal email preferences here so we're going to go ahead and click on that as a new tab and we're actually going to open up the other one as well under email for system account email and the reason is because we not only need to create the email but we need to tell Acumatica to look at that email and use that email so in here in the system email accounts uh, we're, uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to use the internal demo data one because it's very similar and also a lot of people, a lot of our clients at least use Outlook. So um, we'll just follow with those settings, uh, but your mileage will vary depending on your email exchange and those email uh, exchange information will generally come from the provider of that uh, email system. So what we will do here is we're going to first set up your account name, which is just the name of the email address. Uh, that's what the system's going to look at. Basically, name it. You can see admin and admin there. Then we're going to set up the uh, email that you're going to be using, which is uh, admin at revision2 here. And then the reply email address is if you wanted to automatically use that specific address to send it out. And that can also be uh, verified if you guys, uh, if anyone ever forgets down the road under the question mark. And then if you uh, open the help and hit the system email accounts here. And you can see that under here, when you first start on here, we have the reply email address and it says the address you use to send for automatic replies to unassigned emails. And you can find that out right here. The next thing we're going to be setting up is uh, the server information. So I want to touch a couple things really specifically. It's nothing to be worried about. It's a very simple, straightforward process here. Um, POP3 and IMAP. So POP3 is generally used when you're wanting just the system to send out emails. You don't ever want the system really to manage any emails. It doesn't need to receive any emails. It just needs to send emails. Um, so for this purpose, you can get away with POP3. Um, but if you are going to, say, host cases and, and kind of have Acumatica handle the cases and it needs to receive and send out emails, you need to set it in IMAP. And the IMAP will allow Acumatica to log in and basically almost act or basically act as an outlaw. After we've decided which one we need for this purpose, um, which is POP3, uh, Outlook at Office 365, uh, those are the mail servers, they're both the same Outlook, uh, keeps it simple for the incoming and outgoing. If you're using POP3, um, because you don't really, you're not taking any mail coming in, you only need the outgoing, and that's why it's only at, uh, starred there. Then you need to set your login information, this is how uh, you log in when you were say you were to go to like Outlook's uh, online login tool for their Outlook in the web browser. Then the next one for POP3 which we'll need is my outgoing server requires authentication and then incoming server requires encrypted SSL and this is the uh, default um, for uh, Outlook. I've also seen instead of uh, 995 I've seen 993 uh, for some uh, uses, uh, but like I said, your mileage will vary and to get that type of information from your email uh, provider and they will be able to help guide you with the correct uh, settings for this part. Uh, going on, we have um, the incoming mail processing, which I'm not going to touch on because it's not really important for this uh, purpose of this video, but this is where you can see and please feel free to uh, look at the system email accounts. Uh, help page for more in-depth info. We also have content here and then assignment settings. Um, but generally speaking for this purpose we only need to focus on server and advanced. And once those two things that I told you which is the outgoing, the uh, incoming mail protocol, your username, password, and my uh, outgoing server requires authentication and these uh, four things set, uh, hit save. You can even test it here to make sure it does work. 
and you can even set a uh, sender display name here and you can see we got a check because that does work um, and this will basically uh, have an email pop up in your inbox uh, if you are testing it you can go to that inbox and, and see it there to see that it is working and I have seen a lot of times uh, as a note if you're using Google um, it may not work when you type in the right information and that's because it has to have a lower allow lower security applications to use it so if that's not enabled, Gmail will continue to deny the connection through Acumatica. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and that can be used for other applications as well. That If that setting is available, you need to make sure that allow, its setting is allowed because Acumatica won't be able to log in. Next thing we need to do is set up the actual email to be used by the system, which is in the default email account here. So make sure that's checked. And then the final thing to make sure that the emails are consistently going out is to schedule the email. So go ahead and hit email. We have emails pending processing here. And these are all the emails that are kind of stuck waiting to process through Acumatica. And you can see assigned to me, is checked or not. Um, I always uncheck it here. Then I would go into uh, this little uh, kind of timer and hit add and what this will do is allow it will prompt us to set up a schedule for these emails to consistently go out every single day or however often you want them or maybe a multiple times throughout the day so you can see here we can set up our description what we want to name it um, rule of thumb with this is have no execution limit uh, because once if you have this unchecked it will run for however many times you set it here and then it will stop your schedule type, this is kind of how often you want it to run. Um, your next ex execution date is kind of the next, the, when what day you want it to start running. And then your ex execution time is when you want it to start running on that day. And then generally the start on time will, uh, will start uh, activating. So this could be useful. Say you don't want the system uh, for the stops on, uh, say you don't want the system sending emails after say 7 o'clock p.m. I don't know why but just as an example you can have the system set out and automatically process every email going out through say 9 to 5 and then after that the system will not send any emails until the next day when it opens up again and then for the every um, if you put a 5 here this doesn't stand for 5 seconds this stands for 5 minutes so these are a minute in incre uh, increments here uh, conditions leave them blank filter uh, values leave them blank uh, the only thing you can change is if you want to change from uh, incoming or outgoing type of mail here but like I said leave it blank uh, or leave a default in this case and hit save and then your emails will automatically continue to process once they're in there now the final thing which we've been waiting for which is automatically sending the reports and getting that so the system will send out in this case a sales order summary every single day let's say at 6 p.m. So what we're first going to do is set up the settings that we want to use. So in this case, uh, we're going to go in and just, uh, you can go back a bunch of time. Because it's demo data, I'm just going to go back to 2016, 2015, hit uh, just a random day. Next here, we can choose what settings we want. Uh, I'm going to leave these blank because I kind of want it, I want it all. We can apply the filters and conditions that we want here on these two screens. And these are additional filters because you can't, uh, it's not a GI. You cannot um, go in there and choose a column and filter. We have to filter it before we run the report. And then this is where we'll decide who we're sending it to. So we have what format, which is PDF, Excel, or HTML. So you have the option. You can set an Excel file every single day. You have this running. Two is who you are going to be running that to. Um, the BCC blind carbon copy and then um, the other CC for regular carbon copy and then we have subject which is the uh, kind of the name and subject of the email now once these are all filled out we're going to then hit uh, save template up here it's gonna prompt us so we're gonna do in this case just test one auto send we're gonna hit OK and then now we have it show up here now if you want to share this template with other people so they can use this if you have a specific amount of settings you want people to run this is where you'll save them but then we're going to take it a step further and hit schedule template and then what we're going to do is merge reports because we don't want them sending multiple different reports and we're going to hit OK and feel free to play with this stuff um, definitely it's good to test it to see how it comes uh, through on the over the email and which is our description 
Like I said, no execution limit because we want this consistently running for this example. And we'll just do test one. And then we're going to go down into the schedule. We're going to choose uh, daily and we're going to choose 6 p.m. And you can see when you click out, you got to click over here and then go down to 6 p.m. And I want this running, say, every five minute, but it's only going to execute daily at that specific time. And I want it to stop at 6.05 to be safe. I want it to run in five minutes. So you can also just leave this blank too. Finally, after this, you're going to then hit uh, save. And um, what this will then do is once you save it, the system will then automatically send out the email to uh, that two that you set up in the uh, report. So wherever you set up in the sales order summary in here, go into our auto send. Whatever the email is set up into the two is where it will send it on a consistent basis. And then you're done. Thanks again, everyone, for tuning in to this Net at Work quick tip video. Look forward to catching the next one. Feel free to comment down below or email me directly as you see on the screen. And as always, subscribe and catch you in the next one.